introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Hannah. Hi, I'm Shots. Hi, I'm Kat. And we're... <laughs> and we're from 1KMTU, Faculty of Arts, Department of Medical Technology. Here. You guys know what we'll be doing today? No. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Today, you'll be trying GMO. Do you know what GMO is? No. Oh, yeah. oh, what's GMO? But you'll be trying GMO food. What's that? My food is food. My food is GMO. My gravy. Gravy, gravy. 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 Um, I'm going to give you a warm one. I don't know. Oh my god! This is very good. It is jolly good. I think Jen always do Why? I think it's an advantage of flavor. Do you want this really good? It's got me organisms. So, do you know the pros and cons of GMO? No. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what do you what think? Is, I think it's bad for health. That's it. Me chemicals, the bar. Yeah. And also, aside right from that, ang alam ko kaya GMO din ang chicken because kaya siya malaki. Actually, mga portions na <laughs> kaya malaki yung mga portions na na order natin sa mga fast food chain. It's because GMO sila. Parang yung mga breeding, mga animals na binibreed sa farm, <coughs> they're GMO na. Actually, alam po, may GMO kasi para ma-feed yung malaking population. Tsaka, ano, um, less gasos for agriculture. Siyempre, profit na rin since <coughs> kung malaki yung nabibili mo, uh, like sa chicken, di ba, kung malaki yung farm, sulit for us na consumers. And so, I think GMO is great. I think it's just really great. <laughs> I think GMO God made organisms to all of us. So it means everything is delicious. Am I right? Mm. Okay, next, next food. Did you know oh. that hot dog is GMO? Hot dog? Ang ko lang, when Breakfast I was bata dog. pa, na ang hot dog daw ay made up of worms. Oh, hot dog! Ay, but, but I'm too <laughs> <laughs> Cheese. May cheese. Pwede may cheese ang hot dog. Did you know that cheese is also GMO? What? So, lahat lang GMO. Ah. Lahat lang. <laughs> Do you think there are bad effects when eating food like hot dogs? Mm. No. Maybe. I'm not sure. Wait, I heard my bad effects on GMO. Oh. Diba sabi niya? Oh yeah, this is, this is bad effects. I think. What was it? Both is allergies. I think it's allergies. I allergy to hot But I'm not allergic to hot dogs, so, so GMO is not bad. If you're not allergic to hot dogs. What else? What else? Oh wow! It's another GMO. Oh wow, another GMO. Can 
Do you have one piece here you can do it first? Maybe hot dog for breakfast. Chicken for lunch. Then fries for dinner. That's right. A full GMO. Diet. Mm, diet. <laughs> GMO a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> no. No. I think GMO and pain. Okay, so anong alam niyo about GMO na potatoes? Pero <laughs> <laughs> maraming potatoes kasi pinapala sila na lang from being genetically modified. Kaya mahaba yung fries natin kasi malaki yung potato. Yeah! Okay! And since malaki yung potato, kahit di ba yung usual naman the size ng potato like this naman? Pero ngayon, si GMO na sila, gano'n na sila, super laki na. Oh, no, it's cheers to the pack. Wow, healthy. Healthy today. But hmm. GMO is right? Yes. Wow, it's fruit. Okay, so healthy pa rin ba? <laughs> Why oh, not? It's also GMO. Fruit? That's not there supposed to be healthy. I don't know why. Why is GMO pineapple? It's because. Um, mas kalo nagiging sweet, mm. right? Kasi diba, ang mga yung natural na pineapple, parang mm -hmm. uh, sour yeah. siya. Pero, since GMO na ang mga pineapple, parang pinakita na daw for the consumer's taste. Yeah. Para mas magiging sweet, mas maraming meat yun eh. <clears throat> And I heard na yung mga pineapple na GMO, mas less yung nutrients nila, yung fibers nila. And why is it modified? Um, after researching about it, we found out that there's a lot of misconceptions pala about GMO. So GMO is introduced in the world para to alter um, the genes of the organism. So they use it through genetic engineering to introduce new characteristics for that species. It's basically like um, new evolution. Of plants in order for them to be better. So, yeah. <laughs> so after researching about it, then, na meron parang effects yung GMO sa farmers in a bad way. Kasi yung biotechnology industry, yes. since shrimp is all about money, money. So, parang, kapag once na madaman na nila na yung mga farmers, yung mga real produce nila, ay may GMO din. They can sue them. That's why there's a lot of money in the table business. Since only a few can do it. So we think that after our after doing our research, GMO is based on research. I take everything back. It's a day for me. It's a day. Ah, joke, yeah, but I'm really tired. 
Yeah. A big yay. yay. Ayun, it's a yay. Since um these foods are like sweeter or tastier, a lot of it are consumed. So there's no waste of food. Um how about you, Hannah? Yay or nay? Um for me, it can be a yay. Um, my opinion still stands on it can be a yay, it can be also a nay because for yay, like, nga, for the consumers, for us, we tend to eat a lot. So it's a yay for us, diba? But it's a name for the farmers. They can lose their jobs, they can lose their yung way nila kung paano sila mamuhay, just because of GMO and just because of the corrupt na not all of them naman, not all of the GMO producers. Pero yung iba na parang manapalina ng GMO, they almost like a patent for them. Yeah. So sinasin nila yung mga kawawa farmers. So stay woke to Mashans. Stay woke to Mashans. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you for the wonderful food. Like and subscribe. Thank you for the food.